Hello, I'm Sinead and this is your Week in Tech. This week we're filming from Tomorrow in Croydon. I'm here with Becky. Becky, tell us more about Tomorrow. Tomorrow is South London's largest and newest co-working space for tech startups. We're 21,000 square feet in size and that's made up of 350 desks, 10 private offices, an amazing event space and this independent cafe. And we're six weeks old. And why would someone start their tech business in Croydon? I've spent the last four years working in Tech City and battling in via the Northern Line every day uh, on a hideous commute from South London. I know there are hundreds if not thousands of other South London, Croydon, Brighton techies who want a fantastic space at half the price of central London with uh, amazing connectivity, great Wi-Fi uh, and a fantastic community. We're only 15 minutes from London Victoria, London Bridge, Gatwick Airport, 25 minutes from Shoreditch. We have amazing connectivity into central London. If that sounds like what you're after, get in touch. Our summer offer has just kicked off. Currency transfer app Revolut has landed £6.5 million in Series A funding. 5AI uses AI to speed up the arrival of self-driving cars and has closed a $2.7 million round led by Amadeus Capital. Moneybox received an additional $1.75 million in a funding round led by Oxford Capital Partners to help their mission to encourage young people to save. And travel money service WeSwap closed a $10 million round from Ascot Capital Partners, EC1 Capital, and existing investors IW Capital. The UK tech community has largely welcomed Theresa May's appointment as the country's new Prime Minister. Following weeks of uncertainty as a result of the Brexit referendum, Russ Shaw, founder of Tech London Advocates, said tech entrepreneurs should continue to drive job creation, innovation and disruption, regardless of individuals or political parties. Meanwhile, the government has awarded £16 million to 24 innovative agricultural tech projects. The fund has been named the Agritech Catalyst and seeks to solve some of the world's agricultural challenges, ranging from food security and sustainability to weed control and livestock disease. In other news, Facebook is trialling a self-destructing messaging system. This Snapchat-style system makes messages disappear once they have been read, allows users to opt in to secret conversations and set timers on the visibility of their messages. The tech giant is trialling this feature alongside end-to-end -end encryption for enhanced privacy in more sensitive conversations. Our download of the week is Battery Share. The app lets you track your contact's phone battery and gives you a final chance to contact them before their phone dies. It's got a built-in status bar that lists all those who have opted in to sharing their status, allowing you to see who has a full bar and who needs to plug in. And finally, people across the UK have been busy catching Pokemons this week in a game that bridges virtual reality and the real world. The game has already surpassed popular dating app Tinder in numbers of downloads and users, even before launching officially in the UK. Just a word of warning though, do make sure you look where you're going when you're chasing Pokemon to avoid an accident. This has been your Week in Tech. For more, check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.